And Lajak Katlane a little earlier on, giving us a sense of what the party is doing. That he was in conversation with the uh, PAC president. Let's uh, get live, back, get back to him live uh, with regards to what's on the cards today in terms of the PAC's campaign. Tlantla, very good afternoon to you. Well, good day, Blaine. Indeed, as we continue covering the PAC, you know, leaving nothing to chance here. Now we are speaking to you from Shawela. The same street we are in is where uh, president of the majority party, Sir Ramaphosa, grew up. This is the area that he grew up. Earlier when we spoke to the president of the PAC saying that, you know, they have decided to, to, start, to start at Avalon Cemetery, you know, just to seek you know, um, just for lack of a better word, guidance from those who have fallen. But quite interestingly, like I said, Blaine, is that they have just decided to start their campaign today in Soweto, in Shawela, at, um, at uh, uh, where for President Saramaposa, you know, uh, grew up. But I'm just going to talk to Tate uh, again, just to talk to us about, you know, um, why this street in this area. We want to come here. It is alleged that uh, where the president is coming from there is no load shedding if that is true that means the, we are not equal before the law that means we are in a banana republic that means all animals are equal but some are more equal than others we really want to understand if that is true anyway we're here to ask for votes if vote is here we're just here to ask for votes to ask people to vote for the PAC and get real freedom uh, talk to us about, you know, um, now that you, uh, we know you are political parties uh, and you must know the plight of the people. Just take us through what you know about Shawela in, with regards to the challenges of people here and what uh, you are willing to do as the PAC. The problem, remember, we are, we are going for, we are encountering local government elections. And, and, and the problem of, of local government, state, is the clean drinking water. Uh, a crime, unemployment, and, 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 and the councillors who are not serving the real interests of the people that they are leading in their respective wards, but serving the interests of people who are in their own organizations on the basis of card carrying member and, and even the so called service delivery or your, your food parcels, your SASA grants are even, are, are even dished according to political affiliations. And that's what people have been telling us all over these places. Well, your program for the day, what do you intend to do? We intend to get into the houses, ask for votes, and from there we'll go somewhere and then just talk to the PAC members and disperse straight to Limbombo with a provincial manifesto launch tomorrow in Mukupani. Well, thank you so much. There you go, Blaine. Uh, PAC leader Mzwani Lenyonza says that, you know, they are just here to ask vote. They're going anywhere to just, you know, talk to people with regards to their plight and ask them to give them a chance, you know, to, to govern. With that being said, it's back to you in studio. All right. Uh, sounds like a channel day live for us in Johannesburg. Thank you very much indeed. Lots still to cover. We're going to take a quick break. I'll get you more news next in this.